All right, what if I told you the future of AI and gaming might not run on Google, Amazon, or Microsoft, but on your spare graphics card? Today, we're breaking down Aether, a live crypto project tackling DeepIn. That's decentralized physical infrastructure networks. This isn't just another buzzword. Aether is solving the scaling crisis in AI and the latency crisis in gaming, and its token has been live for over a year. Let's unpack why this matters and if it could be one of the biggest opportunities in crypto. First, let's get Deepin out of the way. So Deepin is using real world infrastructure like GPUs or graphics card processing units, bandwidth or storage. But instead of being controlled by Amazon or Google, it's controlled by the people, incentivized with crypto. Think of it like Uber, but instead of renting out your car, you're renting out your computer. Thousands of people contribute and together they create a giant decentralized cloud. Now, why does this matter? AI scaling. You've probably used ChatGPT. That kind of intelligence requires enormous computation, far more than most companies can afford. Even if Amazon, AWS, and Google Cloud struggle to keep up, it's only getting bigger and bigger. Google predicts that by 2030, the world will spend $1.8 trillion a year on AI. And love it or hate it, AI is here to stay unless we're all living in iRobot or Terminator. But hey, that's for another video. And for us investors, that's a trillion dollar AI wave. And Aether is setting up as the infrastructure and backbone for this. Let's talk about the problem. Here's the best way I can explain this. How many of you have tried to render a 4K video on your laptop and waited forever? Leave a comment below if this is you. Now multiply that by a million. That's what AI workloads look like. Endless rendering, learning, and graphical tasks. The processing power is just not enough for them. That's why GPUs, especially the Rolls Royce of them all, the NVIDIA H100, are insanely valuable. They're expensive and extremely hard to find. But guess what? Aether has thousands of them already deployed around the world, powering AI tasks and gaming. So how does this work? Aether basically acts like a distributed GPU cloud. Nodes around the world host high power GPUs. Companies and individuals can tap into that power on demand. You only pay for what you use. It's like Amazon's AWS or Google Cloud, but decentralized, more cost efficient and scalable. And here's a bullish point. Aether is on the NVIDIA Inception program, which is their program for cutting edge startups. That's big validation right there. Let's talk about gaming. Imagine you're in US playing Call of Duty and someone in China joins your lobby. Normally they'll lag like crazy because the servers are centralized in one location. Aether fixes that. Their decentralized infrastructure places servers all around the world, cutting latency and giving everyone a crisp experience. That's massive because gaming isn't just fun. It's one of the biggest drivers of mass adoption for crypto and Web3. Now let's get into the Aether token because this isn't a white paper fantasy. The token's live. The token generation event was on June 2024. It's got a $24 billion supply and about 30% of that supply is circulating right now. So it's a government's token and this used for paying for the compute power, rewarding node operations and governance of the network. So instead of all the revenue going to Amazon or Google, it flows into this ecosystem and supports the token economy. And this is where it all comes together. AI is exploding. $1.8 trillion projected market in the next few years. Gaming is global, billions of players and Aether solves this latency. Deepin is real. Instead of a centralized entity controlling this, the people get to control this and they get rewarded for it. That's a rare combination. Aether is hitting all three megatrends at once. Of course, this is not financial advice, but there are risks. The fully diluted valuation on this is pretty high. It's got 42 billion tokens and a lot of the supply has not been unlocked yet. The adoption is key. They do need customers to keep scaling usage, but if they succeed, the upside here is enormous. So that's Aether, tackling AI, scaling and fixing gaming latency, and building the deep in cloud for the future. Do you think Aether can really challenge the big cloud providers, or is this just hype? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I do read all of them. If you found this helpful, smash that like and subscribe, and share this with someone who needs to finally understand deep in. Thanks for tuning into this one, and cheers.